I'm John Skinner, and this supports my book, Fishing for Summer Flounder, and you can learn more about the book at flounderbook.com. I'll be jigging with one and a half to four ounce SNS John Skinner swing hook fluke bucktails, as well as tsunami silicone skirt glass minnows, and everything will be tipped with gulp. And I'll have links to all of the gear in the description of the video. Okay, I'm out on the Blue Jay, and that's Rick's boat. He's in the middle. Uh, next to me is Jack. He's unhooking a sea bass, and uh, in the back is Cliff. And uh, yeah, this is going to be quite an awesome trip. Uh, five fish in excess of eight pounds are going to come up on this one. And yeah, uh, boy, it just seems to be getting better and better. And then this one is just uh, as good as it gets for us. Okay, we're in, uh, off of eastern Long Island. The water depth is 70 to 85 feet. The bottom makeup is sand and rocks. And uh, if you go back to last year, I've actually got some underwater video shot here. So we're able to see what the bottom looks like. Yeah, this one needs a net. This one needs a net. Jack's all you. Jack's in the net right behind you, Jack. I mean, it's not going to be giant, but I know you want to keep them, so oh, boy, it's definitely a keeper. Actually, it's going to be pretty decent. Absolutely. All right, so this is our first drift, uh, so we're just getting underway here, so that's a good start. Hey, notice those gulps. You see how the tails are bit off? Those are six-inch gulps. Um, that's what happens with the sea bass. They uh, tear those things apart, so they can be uh, quite pesty to us. Um, but here we go. Rick's got a good one now. No. No person. Oh. Sorry. Don't mess this up. Yes. Do you know what you're doing with that net? Uh, I, I go for the tail because then he doesn't Chase see it. it then he doesn't see it coming. That's the secret. Yeah, chase him around. Uh, I don't know. If this is not a monster. This got unmonsterized. Could be a sea bass. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, okay, good. A fluky. Nice. Oh, nice. 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 Yeah. Nice. So no, that's what we're here for. Huh? No, no drama. No drama. That's what we like. There you go. Nice. And uh, Rick, what kind of bucktail was that you caught him on? I think it's uh, John Skinner, if I'm not mistaken. I need a net. Oh, net. Okay. It's funny, I put down and I dropped them. Right. And I put back down on them. Got a giant? Yep. A keeper, not giant, but a keeper. Beautiful. Nice. Well done, thank you. All right, check out the size of this guy coming through the grounds. Yeah, um, not a freighter. I guess that's a oil tanker, I suppose. That's getting pushed by a tug and it's pushing some water. And it's unusual to see them uh, come through here like that. But uh, he, he's not very far away. Need the net there, John? No, it's a fluke, but I'll s it's not big. So it was rather prophetic that Rick and I were joking about netting so early on because uh, at some point in this trip I'm going to miss somebody's personal best doormat fluke. So stay tuned for that. Make Have me make the call, huh? Yeah, I'm going to need a net. Where's the net? Yeah, I got one right here. Oh, that's the that's a that's the tangle net. Yeah, you may need it for Rick's fish anyway. Ooh, 
this is a good fish. Oh yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Alright, we dump. Dump and chase. I got it. up right now I'm predicting here we go Jack catch the fish come on come on Skinner says catch the fish so the best thing is I saw Jack get hit while I was rigging up so I, I know there's a fish there that's why I said that uh, it's not quite gonna play out that way but it's gonna be okay <laughs> yeah I'm gonna get a content ID match and have he's gonna get all my ad revenue Oh, all right, I'm coming. Almost certainly the fish jack missed. Well, that's what Skinner said. I'm going to hit it. Remember that one day I knocked it off? It's a good one. Yes, I think it is. This has got a nice... I notice what, what, what you do, Rick, is you wait till I'm out of the water, and then you, yeah. you nail them. Yes. I want the expert on the net. Oh, look at that nice poop. Nice head shake. Strong pull. I think this is a double digit. Teaser. Let's go straight up. Oh, God, you pick him up. Oh, there you go. Boy, he was on such a weird angle. Okay, Can slack. Get okay, slack. Dead. <laughs> yeah. That's why I didn't, you know. A little worried about who he's going to get in there. All right, this is what we're here for. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make sure I'm on the bottom, and I'm only using an ounce and a half jig. I'm trying to fish as light as I possibly can, but an ounce and a half jig, 80 feet of water, two six-inch gulp grubs. Um, yeah, it sinks not so fast, and uh, it's a little bit subtle when you hit the bottom. So I'm just tapping that. Uh, thumb bar, making sure that when I drop, I see that line stop and, and slack up for a second. Oh, 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 he looks like he's struggling now. It's a good one. Put you on the fish. Yeah, so trying to get him out of the cube. Get it flatter. Good, excellent. Thank you. Okay, I got my limit. Wow. Tell Halkius, you know, let, let Halkius know. <laughs> Drive him nuts at his desk. Oh, that is a nice one. Tell when it's hard to get your hand around him. Well, that one did anyway. All right, that big white box loaded with ice. Uh, what we're going to do is bleed these fish out. So take a sharp knife. Uh, we've got a bucket with some uh, water in there. You're going to give it a good cut in the gills. Make sure I, I really draw some blood, and you're going to see that. And then put that fish in head first. Be out, you know, taking advantage of gravity here. Get that blood out. That fish is going to bleed out. It's going to die quickly. And then once the blood's out, the fish goes on ice.
Now doing that really preserves the meat quality and uh, I'll take leftover fillets and vacuum seal those and freeze them and even eight, nine months later they're still spectacular. So recently I've had a lot of comments from uh, viewers in Europe and the UK asking why don't we um, club the fish and it, that's, that's something that's not done here. Uh, I understand it's done in other countries but I think it would actually be quite strange to try to club one of these flatfish but it's the way we take care of them and uh, the result is just really excellent quality meat and that's what we're out here for. I got a good one up here. Rick's putting us on the fish. That's right. Boy, you spit up a whole squid there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Big piece. Huh. Oh, yeah. That's good. Fish and bait. Yeah, and Rick is putting us on the fish by working a series of high spots, plateaus. Basically, we you know, start on the deep side, we go up, work across the top, go down the slope. Once we're up the slope, do it again. And, uh, yeah, fluke fishing, flounder fishing, that's the way it is. Look for the edges, look for the slopes, and really work them. Okay, a few things about how I net. First, I pick up the mesh. I, I don't want the mesh laying in the water. Uh, I don't put the net in the water ahead of the fish because I don't want the fish getting spooked by the net. Um, it's definitely with fluke, probably with all fish, that fish has got to be coming in head first. And finally, I want that fish kind of close to the boat. I don't want to overextend to start because if I do my maximum reach to start, I've got nowhere to go. Um, hey, you know what? This has worked out for me throughout my entire life very well until this trip. Something. Mega. That could be it, Rick. It could be the 1-0. How are you liking that rod? Nice. nice. Huh? Yeah, really nice I know. Rod. You're doing well with it. Yeah. Really nice rod. Boogie dookie. Whoa. Whoa. It's got weight to it. Oh, oh that's, that's the best one so far. Oh, that's going to be... Holy. Wow. Yeah, you got that's definitely over cool seven fish. there. That's a pool fish. Right? And you know what? D take your, your rigs right free oh, now. Yeah, Slip I it see up. It. Good, thank you. That thing's got to be big pounds, though. Almost as big as mine last week. Yeah, so Rick is using that new uh, Nexus rod that's made by Jigging World. And um, it's the 20 to 50 pound class one. And uh, there are four inches trimmed from the tip on the stock rod. It's uh, the rod, is the, I think my fourth trip in a row I'm using it. And uh, boy, it's just been great. And I'll have a link to that rod in the description of the video. At the weather out here, what the... 44017, the buoy. I'm going to go to it. As I mentioned, it's rocky. Yep, we get snagged. I'm hung up. I'll tell you what, a rock and a fish feel very similar. But Jack's got the real thing next to me. I'll get him because... I'm out, so I'll, I'll get him. This is the biggest one of the day. Never see clips in too. I 
shakes. Oh, this is a pig fork. Oh my God! Okay. Don't lift him up. No, no, he's all good. All good. Jack's also using that Nexus rod. Hydro brake over there. I think you come through the thing here. If you push it through that hole. Yeah, we'll be there. I'm going to be over there in a second. Okay. Got him. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I'll say, still pretty heavy, but I don't know. Cliff's using the Tsunami uh, 7 foot Classic 701H. It's pretty much been the standard um, on the boats that I'm fishing on. Both that rod and the Nexus uh, have four inches trimmed from the tip on the stock rod. Oh my God, he's got a really big one. Oh. He's got a doormat. Oh my God. Easy does it. There we go. Oh, nice. Good job. Nice. That deserves the scale. <laughs> Well, I, I guess he's eight plus. Yeah, he's eight. Yeah. That's way bigger than the one I just pulled. Out. Yeah. Well, Vinny had said that between Montauk Lake and the point. I need a net. about that but give, give a run there they usually don't he's a very feisty guy come on calm down fish Oops, sorry about that. Right. Wow, pretty, a lot of fight. Nice fight for that little thing, huh? Yeah, right. Okay. And the nice thing about the Nexus rods is they're spiral wrapped, also called acid wrapped, and that reduces twist when you're holding onto the rod, so it's uh, very comfortable. And I believe all the reels in the boat today are Quantum Acurus. And mine's actually a Quantum Acurus S3, so that's the newer model. And the S3 has a couple extra ball bearings as compared to uh, the other reel, and uh, so it's, it's a little bit smoother, but much like uh, the rest of the Acurus. So Jack just said he's got a sea bass, so that's why I just drop back down again. Uh, we don't typically net the sea bass. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh. You uh, said sea bass. <laughs> no, I thought yeah. Whoa! A save and a beauty. <laughs> nice. Wow. Superb netting job. I literally was. Yeah. This would, form could like go in the water. That would make great video. Glad you had that on. Oh God. Next time. So, with few exceptions, we're all using six-inch gulp grubs. A variety of colors white works green work they all seem to work um, you can't go wrong with white green's been doing well 
uh, also some nemesis. The problem with the nemesis uh, is that the sea bass tear them up. And um, yeah, I mean, part of doing well on fluking is uh, not tying yourself up with the sea bass. And uh, if you put squid down, the sea bass are going to hammer you. And uh, yeah, big okay. ones are good to eat, but they oh. can be a pest. Huh? I'm coming over, but I, I had to get my line out because he's... Uh, Okay, I got what the net. What a May. I got it. Yeah. I, uh, what did I miss? You caught some fish while I was on the phone? Oh, you got some short leaders. Thank you. Nice. Okay, okay, I'm coming. All right. Ah, uh, that just put that in the put it up back here. Yeah. All right, up top, sorry. Whose ride is this? Well, in the beginning, oh, here comes the from the guy who just called big, big, big fish on a 15 inch sea bass. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they bring up a little sea bass. Yeah, now he's pulling up a nice fluke. Nice one, it's foul hook, too. That's why. Yeah, but that's a nice fish. So, going into the, the next fish, you're going to hear us discussing bucktail weights and. Um, yeah, I mean, at times we're using an ounce and a half, and you can see there's never any wind. I mean, it's just completely glass. But then the current gets moving, and sometimes the bottom current moves different than the top current, and boom, you're up to four ounces, and uh, sometimes even five and six under these conditions. So, yeah, that's just typical of these trips. Uh, you got to have a bunch of different bucktail weights to handle the different conditions. Okay. You like the four? I'm okay on three right now. Well, well this is three and quite a bit other weight. This is a good one. It's a good one coming up. Net, net. Or more maybe going, uh, we'll see. It's not a flipper, right? He's oh, not a flipper. No. This is where I almost killed myself before. Well, you know, again, the video's running. If if you fall were in. to were to fall in, but if this would be a good time. Be famous. But then, but then I'd lose my sunglasses and I'd be mad. I'll take them off first. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good time to fall in. You know, look at it this way. You'd cool off. Yeah, that's this is true. That's a nice one. It's a big one. That's a nice one. All right. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, awesome. Very good, thank you. You're welcome. Can I let him go? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I have. Good one. Yeah. Thought well, I was stuck for a second. It's not a doormat, but it's a decent fish. Uh, where's the net? Other side of the console. Other side of the console. Yeah, no, I didn't say that. This is not big net material. No. Yeah, that's not material though. Oh, nice. Okay. He's a lucky one, though. That he is. 
No, he's going back in the water. So we finally did an accounting of what we have in the box, and it turns out we've got 15. It's a four-fish bag limit, so we're allowed 16. And uh, we're going to get one more, limit the boat, and uh, and I think we're going to head for home. Yeah, I got hit like that, too. We must be going through a pile of them. Well, it's a fluke, though. Fish on. Fish fish. Keeper. Boy, is he saving your ass, huh? I guess he is. Thank you, Jack. Oh no, we're stopping off on the way in. We gotta take a drift there. I got a real one on. Oh, you got one too? Yeah, but I got a good one. Oh, nice. This best one I've had on today. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I had to back Jack up in case he didn't get that fish. Okay, I'm coming up. Okay, come on up. A decent one, he's not as big as I thought. Good fish, though. Right. And uh, okay, we gotta nice get one for the box. We gotta get him out. And uh, now we're better. I, I don't know how we can quit when we just tripled. Jeez, yeah, give me that. Okay, okay, you're out. So look, wow. I let's. I think uh, let's. Well, who, I think his is the biggest. The I'm gonna. Uh, that one goes in the box. Right here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna. These are already unhooked. I'm tossing them in. Okay. You're a lucky fish. Stay away from the draggers. You are also lucky. Whoa! Wow, triple. All right, since we had our limit, uh, instead of heading for home, exactly, we wanted to try some spot we'd never fished before. We know there's been some effort in that area. It's deeper. It's like 80 to 120 feet of water. We've been here three minutes, and Rick's now hooked up. Oh, I'm gonna net. I'm gonna net that one. I'm coming up, or I'm. Coming over. Okay, he's trying. All right. All right, now you easy, easy, easy. Let me try to bring him into the net. Reel him up a little higher. Let me try to bring him into the net. All right, I'm going to bring him over. All right, now we've got to get him. Get ready with your net in the water. There you go, right to you. There we go. Oh, that's fucking stupid. Oh, oh. Now, huh? <laughs> who told you to come over here to fuck? Huh? Huh? Now, now who's going home with what, huh? I was the one that oh, said that's to come big over dude. here. What is that? That's, that's silver nine. That might be one O. Wow. Make a big back, boys. Oh, my goodness. No. So, thank goodness, a happy ending. Yeah, but when they come up straight like this, this is hard to get, you know, an angle. This looked okay. But 
watch this guy. Oh, damn. Okay, it all ended well. Rick got his big fish. And, uh, yeah, I've watched that about 20 times on video. Okay, let's Okay, here we go. Let's get the release. Just shy of 10 pounds here. Hang on, Jack, you got me or something. Oh, okay. Wow. There he goes. <laughs> wow. Nine pounds, nine ounces. Okay, not quite done yet. Uh, yeah, this was about an hour later. This is our absolute last drift, uh, almost. Big ones are going to be right here. How deep was uh, were we when you got yours? Uh, like 96. Wow. And in that hour between Rick's fish and now, we really didn't do much. We had one uh, uneventful keeper. Oh my God, he's got another one. Is that on the bottom? No, it's a fish. Reel the damn thing in. Oh my God, it's a, I got hydro lock. It's not coming in at all. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I think we might need a net over here. I'm, I'm on it, man. Told you we can't went on the slope coming up. Wait, I just said that. I'm gonna be in it. I'm gonna choke him one day. <laughs> it's on the deck. Um. Well, Rick, is it like your other one? It feels like it. Really? Yeah. It doesn't look. I mean, it doesn't look like it. That other, that other one. Really messed up. It feels pretty heavy. Now, if it's really big, I, I need to take the net away because, you know, we need to have drama. I got a rest. You know what? I we're, we're tangled up somewhat. Oh, that's why I'm so heavy. No, it ain't because that. I see it. I see. I got a color. Big, huge. Oh, that's fucking tremendously huge. Ready? So drop the other part of the net then. I don't think he's like your other one. Yeah, no. He was not the bad last one, but. Yeah. You think it's as big as the other one? No, no. I don't think so. I don't know. I What'd you catch him on? Uh, John. Oh, let's uh, look. John looks Spinner's like a looks like a swing hook. Yep. You see that? Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. That and that bucktail covers for a lot of bad net jobs. <laughs> John, you want to yep. get a video over there? Yeah, yep. Big as it feels like it's fight. Whoa! Uh, nice head shakes. Sweet. When I first hooked up, it felt like it was gigantic, and now, now it's coming easy. Crush it. We got all day. John's got lots of tape. So how long? Plenty. No. I mean, how long? How long? They'll have to long? edit this down, but that's fine. Oh, it's gonna be a big fish because you're just coming up straight. That's why. <laughs> slack, 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 come on. Slack, slack. Holy Jeez. shit. Jeez. Huh? Lift him up like a man. As far <laughs> as I can go. All right. All right. 
Good? Yeah. Let him go. Over to the side. Work it nicely. Nice, nice, nice. Let me get this hook out of my leg. We're throwing back eight and a half. Yeah, nice loop. Yeah. There you go. Fish here. Stupid fishing. Okay, thanks for watching, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel.